Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Poppy's bittersweet freedom, built too much of a reminder of Luna. The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Katie Logan, Heather Tom, was right about Luna Nozawa's, Lisa Yamada, paternity. However, Katie was wrong about Penelope, Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, being a killer. Once the whole truth comes out, Katie could feel terrible about Poppy's ordeal. Katie might also finally greenlight Bill Spencer's, Don Diamond, romance. Poppy might get out of jail, but could Bill be too much of a reminder of Luna? Keep reading and let's chat about the possibilities. Katie Logan's insistence. B&B spoilers reveal that Katie kept insisting that Poppy was bad news. Katie was in disbelief that Luna was Bill's daughter. Katie questioned it from the very beginning. However, Katie's focus was on Poppy instead of Luna. Katie was fearful that Poppy could be after Bill's money. Then Katie worried Poppy might be a black widow. When the full truth comes out, including how the paternity test was faked, then Katie might feel awful for what she put Poppy through. Katie and Bill do have history, but she just might truly care for him as a friend and Will Spencer's, Crew Morrow, father. B and B spoilers. Luna Nozoa's deception. Over with Luna, she has Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline Mithsinswood, in a cage. Luna has been telling Steffi how she fooled everyone. This includes how Luna ordered a fake paternity test on the internet. As the week of September 2 kicks off, Luna will share more secrets with Steffi. So by the time that Steffi is rescued, we should have answers to everything. Poppy Nozawa's Freedom The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that after Steffi's rescue, Lee Finnegan, Naomi Matsuda, faces off with Luna. It's said to be a fierce showdown, but will Luna end up in handcuffs or a body bag? With how evil Luna is, including framing her own mother, there might be zero hope of redemption or treatment. Luna seems determined to fight to the death, so this might explain why Poppy is devastated on Friday, September 6. Not horrified, not shocked or angry, but devastated. It sounds like Luna might die during that last stand. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Bill Spencer's loss. Even though Poppy will be cleared and get out of jail, the freedom will be bittersweet. How does Poppy go on knowing her only child is dead? Poppy will also need to process how she couldn't have seen how dark and troubled her daughter was. While Bill will likely welcome Poppy home, could he just be too much of a reminder of Luna? Although they weren't father slash daughter, it would be hard for Poppy to look at Bill and not be reminded of Luna. After all, that is who made them a Fox family. While the paternity test wasn't real, the feelings and experiences were. So where do Poppy, Bill, and Katie go from here? Poppy Van Dyne stood on the edge of the cliffs overlooking the Pacific Ocean the wind whipping through her auburn hair as the sun dipped below the horizon. The sky was painted in hues of pink and orange, a stark contrast to the turmoil churning inside her. She had fought so hard for this moment, for her freedom, but now that it was here, it felt more bittersweet than liberating. For years, Poppy had been trapped in a gilded cage, her every move dictated by the powerful and manipulative Bill Spencer. He had taken her in after the tragic death of her twin sister, Luna, a woman who had captivated Bill's heart in ways no one else could. Poppy had always lived in Luna's shadow, the two of them inseparable but distinct, Luna the fiery and fearless one, Poppy the quiet contemplative soul. But after Luna's untimely demise, Bill had turned to Poppy, not as herself, but as a stand-in for the woman he could never truly let go of. Poppy's freedom had come at a price. She had finally found the strength to break free from Bill's grasp, to carve out her own identity separate from Luna's memory. 
But now, standing alone on the cliffs, she couldn't help but feel the weight of the world pressing down on her. The ties that bound her to Bill were not easily severed, and the ghost of her sister lingered in every corner of her mind. Bill had loved Luna deeply, in a way that had consumed him. When she died, it was as if a part of him had died too. He had clung to Poppy, seeing in her the echoes of the woman he had lost. For a time, Poppy had allowed herself to be the vessel for his grief, to be the Luna that he needed her to be. But as the years passed, the lines between Poppy and Luna began to blur, until Poppy no longer knew where her sister ended and she began. It was only after meeting Ridge Forrester that Poppy began to see a way out. Ridge had seen Poppy for who she truly was, not as a replacement for Luna, but as a woman with her own thoughts, her own desires, her own dreams. He had encouraged her to step out of her sister's shadow, to embrace her individuality. It was Rich who had given her the courage to stand up to Bill, to demand her freedom. But freedom, Poppy quickly realized, was not as simple as walking away. Bill was a constant presence in her life, a reminder of the sister she had lost, and the woman she could never truly be. Even now, as she tried to forge a new path, she could feel Bill's influence pulling at her, like an anchor she couldn't quite shake loose. Poppy closed her eyes, breathing in the salty air. She knew she needed to leave Los Angeles to put as much distance between herself and Bill as possible. But where would she go? Luna had been her entire world, and now that world was gone. She had no family, no roots, no place that felt like home. The thought of starting over somewhere new was both thrilling and terrifying. She had spent so long living for other people, first Luna, then Bill, that she had forgotten what it meant to live for herself. But as she stood on the edge of the cliffs, staring out at the endless expanse of ocean, she realized that she had a choice. She could either let the past continue to define her, or she could take a leap of faith and build a new life on her own terms. But no matter how far she ran, Bill would always be there, lurking in the back of her mind. He was too much of a reminder of Luna, too deeply intertwined with her past to ever be fully erased. And that was the real tragedy, Poppy thought, tears welling in her eyes. She couldn't fully escape Bill because she couldn't fully let go of Luna. The memory of her sister was both a comfort and a curse. Luna had been everything to Poppy, her confidant, her protector, her other half. Losing her had left a gaping hole in Poppy's heart, one that no amount of time or distance could ever fill. And Bill... Bill had been a part of that loss, a part of the pain that Poppy carried with her every day. But as much as she wanted to hate him, she couldn't. Bill had loved Luna too, perhaps more deeply than anyone else. And in his own twisted way, he had loved Poppy as well, even if it was only because she reminded him of what he had lost. That was what made it so hard to walk away. Poppy wasn't just leaving Bill. She was leaving behind the last tangible connection she had to her sister. The sun dipped below the horizon, and the sky darkened to a deep, velvety blue. Poppy wiped away her tears, steeling herself for the road ahead. She had made her decision. She would leave Los Angeles, leave Bill, and start over somewhere far away. But she would carry Luna with her, in her heart, where no one could ever take her away. As she turned to walk back to her car, Poppy felt a strange sense of peace wash over her. The future was uncertain, and the past still weighed heavily on her shoulders. But for the first time in a long time, she felt like she was truly in control of her own destiny. She wasn't Luna, and she wasn't Bill's substitute. She was Poppy Van Dyne, and she was ready to write her own story. But as the city lights of Los Angeles came into view, she knew that her journey was only just beginning. The road ahead would be long and difficult, and the ghosts of her past would continue to haunt her. But Poppy was determined to face them head-on, to carve out a life that was truly her own, no matter what it took. 
And as she drove away from the cliffs, leaving the ocean and the memories of Bill and Luna behind, Poppy couldn't help but feel a flicker of hope. Freedom might be bittersweet, but it was freedom nonetheless. And that, she decided, was worth everything.